Hello, Laurel. What's the matter? What are you doing in that strange get-up? Camille's dead. What? Camille's dead. Drunk. My dear Bog. Come in, come in. Dead, is he? Drowned. Come in. Here's Laurent. He, 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 he wants to tell you... Uh, what? Camille's dead. Oh. Drowned. How drowned? It, it was an accident. The boat upset. He couldn't swim. I, I was busy saving Therese. He'd gone under and I, I couldn't find him. <laughs> How terrible for you. And for Madame Racard. Oh, I, I wonder, could you... Could I what? Any, anything, dear boy, anything. Could you break the news to Madame Racard? Oh. I, I haven't the courage to... Yes. Well, if you go into a home like that, you'll know there's something wrong straight away. If Camille's not with you, she'll know what to do with him. Oh, good idea. Leave it to us to break the news to her. We'll, uh... We'll bring it into the conversation. Oh, Madame Racard. Poor Camille! He goes out for a day's pleasure and he ends up dead. Come on, Olivier, and you, Suzanne. Laurent, you'll come with us. Well, only as far as the door. No, no, I, we'll, I, I we'll could... break it to her. Leave that to us. Oh, thank you. Standing up to the boat. Standing up? I think he wanted to prove that he wasn't afraid of the water. He danced about a bit, rocking the boat. I told him to sit down, but he wouldn't. Always the same, Camille. And suddenly he fell in. Well, that rocked the boat even more, so... Oh, these boat accidents. It was the same at Vernon. We had exactly the same accident, happened a hundred times. Sometimes fatally, sometimes not. And Therese is still at the river. Yes. Helping the police with their inquiries. I suppose so. But if you could come back there with me... Afterwards. Afterwards. We have a sad duty to perform first. I'll stay here. Just in case she sees me. We'll be as quick as we can. Michel, how nice to see you. What brings you here? Good evening, dear madame. May we come in? And Olivier and Suzanne, too. Oh, yes, do come in. How are you all? As well as can be expected, you know. Well, do come in. I'm all alone in the house. The young ones have gone to the river. anyone see Camille dancing about in the boat? I mean, anyone except you and Therese? What? I didn't quite... Did anyone know. see Camille dancing about in the boat? I don't think so. Did you? Oh. Why? Always a pity if you don't have witnesses to what happened. Ah. Still, there may have been. Yes, there may have been. On the bank or somewhere? Yes. Was there a policeman trying to find witnesses when you came away? I think so. I imagine there would have been. Yes, that's, that's what I meant. Uh, there would have been. Good. <laughs> You've been very kind, but we can't leave her here. Let's get her back to Paris. I think that would be the best thing. Thank you. Something serious. Let's get her home. I'll tell her.
Therese. We're going to take you home. It's the best place for you. You can sleep in your own bed. See your own doctor if you need to. Now, we've got a cab outside that'll take us there, so um, we'll, we'll wait for you and you get dressed. And we'll find something warm for you to wrap yourself in, and off we'll go. All right? Good. Thank you. Thank you, madame. They found them. She's coming back with us. Good. They found them. Two or three witnesses, in fact. Really? Yeah, some of the boat crew that rescued them saw it happen. Oh? I wouldn't have thought they were near enough. No, they described it in detail. It was just like you said. Camille dancing about, jumping up and down. You understand, I believed your story when you told us, but I've been trained in police methods. It's nice to have several people confirm a story. Absolutely. In detail. It's so much more satisfactory from every point of view, you understand? Oh, yes, yes, of course. According to their story, you were quite a hero. Really? Diving in and trying to find Camille. Did I? Several times, apparently, until they managed to stop you. I suppose I was half mad with grief. Well, they've told their story to the police and to a reporter from a Paris paper and to everyone who's willing to listen. So I'd say you were going to be a celebrity from tomorrow morning on. You ready then? Right, let's be on our way. Good day, madame. May I have your permission to come in for a moment? Yes, for a moment. May I inquire after the health of your dear mother-in-law? She has had a great shock. She is keeping to her bed. Please give her my best wishes for a speedy recovery. Yes, I shall. And your own health? Feeling much better, thank you. I'm very glad to hear it. Be strong. We've a long wait ahead of us, remember? Yes, I remember. Good day, madame. Good day, monsieur. Oh, by the way, Olivier tells me that the death is not official can't be formally established until the body has been found and has been identified by someone who knows him. So I... What? I intend to call at the morgue every morning on my way to the office to see if he's been found yet. Good day, madame.
certainly did that. I'm starting to dream about them. Why do you go on doing it? I have to. But why? I promise to. I've got to keep my promise. He's dead, isn't he? No one doubts yeah, that. Well, he's got to be proved to be dead, or it's no good. What's no good? I don't understand. Well, until he's officially dead, he, she can't be officially a widow. Oh. And draw a pension or anything like that. Well, to do that, he's got to be proved to be dead. Dear madame. Oh, my poor Camille, my poor boy. Why did he have to die? There, there, there. And you tried to save him. You dived in again and again. I did what I could. He was my friend. You were a hero, a real hero. You saved Therese. You would have saved Camille if you could. But... You couldn't. No, I couldn't. Come along upstairs, Mother, and I'll make you a cup of tea. Come along. Sit down, Laurent, in your usual place. Dear Laurent, ah, oh, you've been a good friend. A second son, that's what you've been. My only son, now that Camille's gone. Oh. Oh, don't distress yourself, dear madame. <laughs> Now, who can that be? Uh, no, 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 I'll go. No, but... No, I... no, no, I'll do it. You here already? Good. How is she? She's aged a good deal. Oh, I told you so. Well, we must make her young again. Indeed we must, like us. Eh? <laughs> Olivier and Susanna are just coming along. I'll wait for them, then. We'll go out. Shall I empty them out then? Yes. Make a noise. The best noise in the world, if you ask me. Oh. <laughs> Dear madame, you'll make yourself ill if you go on like that. You really mustn't take things so hard. We all have to die sooner or later. All your tears won't bring him back. Please don't cry, madame. It'll make us cry too. You must make an effort, madame. We've come round here especially to cheer you up. Mm. Smile. Forget what's happened. What's past is past. Let's be cheerful while we can. Now, I, I think we should have a little flutter on the domino. Eh? I, I, I think we should play for two sous a game. Hey? What do you say, madame? Yes. <laughs> Leave me out of the first game, please. I'll make the tea. Right. Two sous a game it is. Let play commence, and then we'll have tea. <laughs> Did you want to see Mother? She's upstairs in her room, resting. 
It was only to see if there was anything I could do for her. Any odd jobs around the place, errands I could run. It's very nice of you, but I really think there's nothing needs doing. It's just that there are some things a man can do. Since you've removed the man of the house. Removed? Well, got rid of him. You don't deny it, do you? No. You can't. And you know why I did it? Yes. To become the man of the house myself? Yes. Do you ever have nightmares about Camille? No. Do you? Mm. I feel so happy and contented to lie in that bed without him beside me that I sleep like... like a top, I suppose. Whatever sleeps better than a top. I see the faces of the people in the morgue a good deal in my dreams. But not Camille, never. Really, I've got rid of him. Yes. Turned him out of our lives, finally and forever. Yes. I hope so. It exhausted me. Me too. Now all I want to do is to live calmly and peacefully. Happily. Happily, I don't care about so long as it is peaceful. It will be provided nobody finds out. They won't, how can they? And the only worry that anyone can know the truth is from us. It's safe with us. Provided we're careful. We will be. The maid, I'm getting up now. Would you like me to come upstairs and help you, Mother? No, thank you, dear. I can manage quite well by myself, most of it anyway. Is that you, Laurent? Yes. Oh, and what are you doing here, my dear? I wondered if there was anything needed fetching or carrying. Oh, what a thoughtful boy you are. Isn't he kind, Therese? Oh, very kind. So I've been telling him. Better than your last place. Yeah, it's hard. I'm exhibiting at the salon now, you know. You don't say? In the papers. I'm famous. Who's she? Model of mine. Good girl. Always comes early in case there's anything else I want. Right then, Marie. <clears throat> Same as yesterday. Move your arm back a bit. And your right foot. That's it. Fine. She's very handsome. Yes, isn't she? Found her myself. She's never been a model before. Really? Absolutely new to the trade. to have her. What? Well, I thought it might get you out of this foul mood you've been in. She won't cost much. And she's as clean as a whistle, I can guarantee that. No. Well, that's a fair offer. Yes, I'm sure it is. I'm grateful for it. You're a friend. But... But what? Nothing. Just but. That's it. Uh, I've won. Yeah. <laughs> oh, well, well, I expect at least a round of applause. <laughs> anyway, I expect two sous from each of you, if you please. I don't think we should pay him. He cheated. Well, what evidence do you say that? Do you see me cheat? 
Oh, well, uh, look, Michaud, it is not possible that you should win, or not without cheating. Don't you agree with me, Olivier? Well, regretfully, I am forced to admit that my father... Olivier, been... show more respect for your father. If not for your father, then for a retired inspector of police. Police, eh? <laughs> a man who cheats at dominoes is worse than a man who, who, who murders his best friend. <laughs> Oh, that's a bit strong, isn't it? <laughs> Nothing is too strong for a domino's cheat. Mm -hmm. For me and Mother. Ah, yes. <laughs> thank you, my dear. <laughs> oh, did you pay him for me, Therese? Yes, Mama. Oh, thank you, Therese. I'll pay you back. I shan't forget. Don't worry. No, one must always pay one's debts. Isn't that so, Monsieur? It is indeed, madame. And, and if you'll care to incur some new debts, I shall be honoured and delighted. <laughs> well, thank you, but I am beginning to feel rather tired. Then we shall leave you, dear madame. With our thanks for yet another wonderful evening. A most enjoyable evening. And with our hopes that next week the winner will be a more reputable character. <laughs> <laughs> be that as it may, we look forward to seeing you next Thursday. Good night, madame. Good night, monsieur. Yeah. Uh, Therese, you'll see them down the stairs. Yes, Mama. Uh, before you go, Laurent, if you'd help me to my room. Of course, gladly. Would you like me to? No, thank you, Suzanne. I can manage quite well by myself once I'm in my room. <laughs> Good night. Good night, dear. Good night, everybody. Good night. <laughs> and how are you these days, Therese? Oh, very happy. No, I don't mean happy, of course, but calm, very relaxed. You've got over it. Yes, yes I've got over it. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. There you are. Now, is there anything else I can get you? No, that's all. I'm all right now I'm here. Thank you so much, Laurent. Not at all. I'm afraid I'm just a tiresome old woman these days. Nothing of the sort. You're not to talk like that. Ever since Camille... Ever since Camille died, I, I can't move about like I used to. We love you just the same. And I love you, Laurel. Almost as if you were my own son. Good night, Laurel. Good night, madame. Oh, uh, shut the door. I can see quite well enough by the light of a candle. And I shall go to sleep straight away. Good night. One more to see out. In a moment. Has she gone to bed? Yes. Good. And she'll go to sleep straight away. And she can't move from her bedroom without someone to help her. Well? Till we're married, then you can have me. Good night, madame. Good night, monsieur.
My last glass of red wine and sweat. <laughs> I'm here. Oh, oh, good evening, madame. How are you? I, I didn't sleep very well last night, and I, I've been falling asleep all day at the office. Oh, you poor thing. I wonder if it's the weather. <laughs> Therese didn't sleep well either. She was tossing and turning all night long, and she had dreadful nightmares, apparently. Did she? She hardly had enough strength to bring me down here after lunch. And she went straight back up again for a rest, and I haven't heard a sound from her since. Really? You go up and see what she's doing now, there's a dear. 
She can't rest all day or she won't sleep at night. And it's nearly time she was starting to cook the supper. Yes. I'll, uh, I'll go up and see how she is. Yes, you tell her that too much rest isn't good for her. She'll do much better to move about a bit, get herself tired. Yes. You sound strange. I feel strange. Why? What's the matter? Last night, I saw... No. I can't tell you. Laurent, come in here. No. Come in my bedroom. I'm here. Did you dream about Camille last night? Yes. Was he in my bed? Yes. Did he grin and stretch out yes. his head? It's perfectly possible to fall in love with a widow without having murdered the husband. But if you go out in a boat with him and come back and say he's drowned and then marry her? No. No. He mustn't do anything, anything at all to arouse their suspicions. You mustn't touch me. I suppose you're right. You know I'm right. Yes. No looking. No touching. We must be hypocrites. Perfect hypocrites. So... We don't propose marriage to them. We get them to propose marriage to us. What now? <laughs> Shall I propose, greatly daring, that we increase the stake to three sous? Well, do you want to lose even more money? I want to win back what I've lost a bit faster. <laughs> what do you say, madame? Shall we let him ruin himself? Just as you like. It's all the same to me. <laughs> three sous, then. Anybody not in agreement? I'll uh, sit this one out, if you don't mind. I'm not willing to risk three sous. But you're the richest of us all now that you have your promotion. No, it wasn't a promotion. Well, it was certainly a rise, and I happen to know how much. Your chief clerk is a friend of mine. All right, I can afford three sous. Heaven knows I don't want to break up a pleasant evening. It's just that I don't care to gamble so high. It's against my principles. Ah, a man of principle. We must respect that. <laughs> Will you forgive me if I go upstairs and rest for a minute? But what is it? Is it your stomach? No, it's not really my stomach. Well, whereabouts is it? Under my heart. Therese. You want to lie down then for at least an hour? Yes. Until you feel all right again. Yes, I will. Don't worry. This time, Olivia, I am positive your father cheated. All the same, he didn't win. Oh, no, he didn't win, but he might have. 
Does anybody cheat for the sake of two sous? Ah, two sous each. That is, twelve sous in all. Worth having. Men have committed murders for less. <laughs> Where is father that we may formally accuse him? Uh, Michel. What is it, madame? Michel, I'm worried about Therese. Ah. She's not at all well. No, I noticed that. And you may think me a selfish old woman, but she's all I have in the world. She's so silent and sorrowful. It's as if she's fading away. I don't know what's the matter with her. But if I should lose her, I don't know what I'd do. <laughs> <laughs> yes, I've seen the way Therese is looking, all mournful and discontented, and I'll tell you why it is. Yes, tell me, is it something we can cure? <laughs> In my opinion, Therese is weary of being alone. At night, in her room. She needs a husband, that's all. But Camille is... Y your Camille was a good husband to her, but he's been dead quite a long time now. I know she's still wearing mourning for him, but only a little bit longer. And because Camille was a good husband, she's got in the habit of having a good husband. She needs another one now. You really think so? Therese is ill for lack of a man. Marry her off as quickly as possible, and you'll see the roses come back in her cheeks. <laughs> That's my opinion, madame, and it's a good one. Good night, dear. <laughs> good night, monsieur. Good night, Therese. Monsieur, how did you think she was? I'm very worried. Her paralysis seems to get a bit worse every day. She needs a lot of looking after. Yes, indeed, she does. By more than one person. And I hope that's what I've been arranging. <laughs> Good night, my dear. Good night, monsieur. The shop bell. Go and see who it is to raise, would you? Madame, for you. For me? <laughs> what are you doing bringing me flowers? Or rather, for... I beg you to accept them in the memory of my friend. Camille. You remember Camille? <laughs> it is the anniversary of his death. <laughs> oh, Camille. My son. He was my best friend. Ah, <laughs> oh, good oh. evening, dear madame, yeah. on the arm of your servitor. <laughs> good evening, Michel. Good evening, Lisa. I hope I find you well. Fit as two old fiddles, I think we can say. I think we can. And how are you, madame? Not so young as I used to be. <laughs> we none of us are that. But quite well considering, thank you. <laughs> and your niece? She still looks poorly. I'm still worried about her. That is the man she ought to marry. You think so? He'd look after you devotedly. Devotedly? He'd be a second son to you. A second son? <laughs> You lot go on. I just have a word with this young man. You're going to ask him how to play dominoes, are you? <laughs> go on, Grivet. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. What's the sound you out, Laurel? What about? It's about a rather delicate matter. On behalf of some dear friends of ours. Well, go ahead. Sound me. What do you think of Therese? Therese? Why? 
I have a reason for asking. Well, how can I put it? She's the widow of my best friend. Yes. I love her. I like a sister, I suppose. Could you uh, love her as something more than a sister? <laughs> I've no idea. What do you mean? And to put it frankly and plainly, could you love her as a wife? As a wife? I never thought of that. Therese, mm, what do you think of Laurent? Laurent? Why? Mm, never mind why. What do you think of him? He's a good friend. Yes. He's a very good friend, that's all. Do you love him? No, 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 that's not the right question. Could you love him? Could I? Yes. Well, as a brother, and as Camille's best friend. Ah, <laughs> oh, Camille. Yes, but as anything more than a brother? What do you mean? Good day, madame. Good day, Therese. How are you, Michaud? She accepts. Dear mother, if making Therese happy is a way of making you happy, and that is what I shall do. Uh, Therese, do you want to help me make our mother happy? Yes. When Camille was drowning, he called out, look after Therese, I entrust her to you. I think of it as a sacred duty, a vow I made to my friend. Kiss her, then. <laughs> Kiss her. <laughs> <laughs> Do you, Laurent, take this woman, Therese, to be your lawful wedded wife? I do. Ego conjungo vos in matrimonium, in nomine patris, et filii, et spiritus sancti. Amen. <laughs> Come along, Micho. <laughs> this will improve your dominoes, won't it? <laughs> Come on, another toast, eh? Whoops! <laughs> to give the bridegroom strength. I'll give you one to, to their children, and may they have many of them. <laughs> oh, their children. <laughs> Come on, Olivia, you're not drinking. Oh. <laughs> to their children. <laughs> She's waiting for you. Go on, then, Laurel. <laughs> Thank you, Suzanne. Oh. <laughs> And good luck to you! <laughs> to their children!
Therese. Do you remember I had a dream? I wanted to spend the whole night with you. Go to sleep in your arms, wake up in your arms. Now it's going to come true. <laughs> Nothing stands in our way any longer. Nothing at all. We've done it. We've really done it. Camille! Did you see him in the morgue? Yes. What did he look like? Did he look as if he'd suffered? throwing him overboard. He bit me. There. Kiss it. Oh, kiss it. Oh, God, stop bleeding. She must have forgotten to take it. You mean it's been there ever since? I've been scared in that dark room. Well, take it down. No, I can't. Oh, I take it down. No. Turn its face to the wall. No, please. Why not? I'm afraid to touch it. Please don't. Too. Your aunt can move it tomorrow. Yes. Well, let's get to bed. Yes. After all, this is our wedding night. Yes. Oh. 